Blessed good afternoon to everyone who may be viewing this, to the side of the country or world you are, um, as we face the whole issue of uh, this pandemic. I just want to pray for those who might be experiencing um, fear, because one of the worst things uh, that we can ever experience is not the virus itself, but it's the spirit of fear. And I just want to pray for those of us who may be experiencing fear at this time. Fear can mean timidity. Fear can mean dread. Um, but this morning, I'd like to pray for you so that the Lord will help you out of this situation. Second uh, Timothy chapter 1, verse 17 declares that, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind so fear is not of God the word fear appears about 395 times in the Bible and one would have thought then that the fear of being dread of being terrified um, of being afraid uh, would be the most prevalent in those 395 verses but to my surprise and to your surprise 305 of those 395 times that verses um, deals with fear it's the fear of the Lord and Timothy is saying to us that God did not give us the spirit of fear so if God did not give us the spirit of fear, the only person else who was able to give us anything other than God is the devil. Because it's God or the devil. There's no in-between. So God did not give us, then that means we get it from the devil. But we, what we got from God is power. And the power here is dunamis, which is simply might fallen strength ability miraculous power which comes from God and we got love and we get a sound mind or we get self-control or discipline that's what we get from God we did not get fear from God so I want to encourage you if you're feeling fearful this morning don't fear because God did not give us that spirit of fear that spirit of fear did not come from God, it comes from the devil. So I just want to pray this morning against the spirit of fear. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus, the name which is above all the name. We thank you that we can run to your word, and even in time of crisis and dread. Lord God, when so many people are contracting COVID-19, so many people are all over the world, God, it almost seems as if there is not one country or one corner of the earth which has not been affected by this virus, this pandemic. But Lord God, your word reminds us that you did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God, I speak to every spirit of fear now in the authority of Jesus' name. In that same power, that, that dunamis that you have given unto me, Lord, in the authority of Jesus' name, I command the spirit of fear to be lifted off of lives even now, God. And you may arrest them, adjure them in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every spirit. The Lord rebuke every spirit in the name of Jesus. And God, that we will understand that we have power, we have love, and a sound mind. May these three spirits, God, that you have given unto us of power and of love and of a sound mind, be, O oh God, in the forefront of our mind. That as we go about each day, God, we not fear anything, but we'll fear the Lord. The Bible also declares in Proverbs, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So God, our starting point where we wisdom is concerned is the fear of you. And this fear is not being dread of you, God, but is having reverential awe, having respect, uh, understanding that you are a supreme God, 
that you are an awesome God and in so doing God we can live our lives free of fear oh God I pray that the spirit of fear will be lifted even now in the mighty name of Jesus break it Lord God over people's life yes God there is things that may be looming but because you did not give us that spirit we God we relieve ourselves of those spirits now in the name of Jesus spirit of fear we command you to leave our minds we command you to leave our families we command you to leave our children we command you to leave our churches we command you to leave our countries in the name of Jesus and we thank you now Lord that we can replace that fear with power with love and a sound mind in Jesus name if you agree say amen